real, guys. Yeah. Concentrate. Yeah. And action. Lost and Found is a fish out of water adventure. It's about two young brothers who get sent away to a mysterious island to stay with an uncle that they never met, never even heard of, and ultimately discover that their grandfather had left behind an incredible treasure hunt and family fortune that uh, a, a family has been long since bankrupt, and these two boys are the ones who get to go on this amazing adventure and find it. The old man's fortune is real. It's on this island. I'm gonna find it. Andy Walton takes an early lead. So we start our story with Andy Walton. Killer swimmer, right? And fully expecting to win this race. And he loses. He loses and it puts him into a tailspin. So he gets himself in some trouble. And because of this, uh, his family decides, it's time for you to go, kid. The film starts, we find Andy in a very dark place. And, and uh, you know, he's stealing beer for people who he wants to befriend, but it doesn't really work out. And, and he doesn't get along with his parents. He doesn't, you know, he takes his brother for granted and his brother completely looks up to him and, you know, he feels that the world kind of owes him something. And he's sort of this, like, well, he's a teenager. He's a little dark and, like, whatever. And Mark's all like, yeah, adventure. Well, they're pretty much opposites, but in the end, they both care very much for each other. You need to learn your place, Andy. I don't have a place. It's time. When Andy gets to that age, when he's a teenager, and he starts pushing back against the authority of me as the man in the household, that we come to a loggerhead, and I send him to go spend some time with his uncle, who I am uh, estranged from and have been for many years. He, uh, he sort of wasted his life with booze and gambling, and, and I was the responsible brother. You know this is a mistake. Well, in Lost and Found, I play Uncle Trent, um, who's someone whose life has sort of passed him by because he's made mistakes when he was younger. And uh, all of a sudden, he gets these two nephews dropped in his lap, and um, he's forced to deal with not only them, but his past. I like to play guys that are in some kind of primal struggle. I think I've always done that. And with Trent, here's a guy who's made mistakes in his life that have uh, derailed him or haunted him and now there's a moment of an opportunity to not only come face to face with that but to possibly get another chance to alter that i had my shot and i blew it Done. our antagonist is john broman and that's played by the incomparable carrie elways this character, he represents uh, the allure and the seduction of money. And Carrie Elways is the perfect guy because everything about him is charm and class and power. And he purrs like, like this expensive tiger who will really do anything that he has to do to get himself out of the trouble that he's in and bring his vendetta against this family home to roost. I don't, I don't like to look at my characters as necessarily black or white or villainous or good or bad or anything like that. I think that John Broman believes that he is justified in what he's doing. Um, other people may have a, a different opinion about that. But, you know, that's, from my character's standpoint, that's truly what he believes. And uh, it's always fun to play characters who have secrets. I remember the first time I read it, I just said inside, this is the kind of movie I want to make. It's just uh, got a lot of heart, it's got a lot of uh, uh, internal passion, it speaks to the family, and it speaks to all the things that, you know, my mother loves and my family love, and that means a lot to me. I think things are just so um, relentlessly negative, and we're a very cynical society because we just expose us so much, and almost like we, we need to numb ourselves by being bombarded with stuff because the real world is so horrifying. Or it's spectacle, it's just, you know, escapism. And something that's a simple, honest story about people that are struggling to find out who they are and how they fit together as a family, I think is refreshing. You throw in the action and a little bit of a mystery and a, and a treasure hunt to it, and I think it has a, a chance to be one of those little movies that resonates with people. 